Howdy, folks. I'm a cabbage. I'm Amber. And here's some lettuce. All right, folks. Our first letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Taking a Week Off of Work Without Telling My Wife? All right, folks. This one is a little bit ridiculous because we've got two stories from the same author, so stay tuned for both. I'm a 44-year-old male. And I've always had a lot of PTO that I always end up needing to use or lose by the end of the year. I don't take a ton of days off of work for the rest of the year, so every year I pick a week just to take off. I don't go anywhere. My whole goal is just to stay at home and do nothing. It's a cheap staycation, and I get a bit of a break. My wife is a 38-year-old female, and she is mad because I never tell her in advance that I'm taking that time off. Now, it's not that she wants to go anywhere or do anything with me. She just is upset that she doesn't know about it until I don't leave for work in the morning. Well, here's the thing. I know that if I told her in advance that she would come up with a list of things for me to do with my time off, like pick up the kids from school, help with laundry, pack lunches for the kiddos, clean the house, clean the dishes, so everything that she normally does. And fix about 10 things around the house. So she's not mad about the time off, she's just mad that she couldn't use it to make me work for her. So I don't tell her because I figure it's no different than if I truly went on vacation. The only difference is that I'm saving money and staying home. If I wanted to work and do extra chores through my time off, I would just go to work and get paid. I explained this, but she still thinks that I'm the jerk. I think she also might be jealous because even though she also works, she only has enough PTO to cover being out with the kids for medical reasons. So am I a jerk for taking a week off every year for myself? All right, folks. <laughs> Maybe we'll reserve judgment in a second <laughs> until we read some more stuff. What do you think about that, Amber? I, I'm going to give my preliminary uh, verdict oh. that Opie's the jerk. Oh, Amber thinks that Opie's the jerk. That's that's a bo mighty bold <laughs> statement to make without all of the facts. Maybe, maybe something in here might change your mind. And No Kappa One says, Info, what are your financial arrangements? Do you contribute significantly more than her when it comes to bills? And OP replies, yes, I'm the primary provider. In fact, she stayed home up until around six years ago. What's the split looking like? What's yours is yours? What's mine is ours? And OP replies, I make about 85% of our income. She went back to work after we realized things were getting tight. So what's ours is ours. But most of that is coming from me. Info, do you spend an equal amount of PTO on the kids? And OP replies, she is the one that uses PTO as she is the one who knows who slash where the kids' appointments and doctors are. And as much as I love our kids, she is really the one that is able to care for them when they're sick. She is so much better at keeping track of medications and remedies. The few times I stayed home with them, she was completely annoyed at me for texting and calling for help and advice. So we both agreed it was just easier for her to take the time off. So far, folks, are you getting a picture? Are you having a picture painted for you of what might be happening here? All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Letting My Wife Take Care of All of the Household Work? I'm a 42-year-old male, and I know this title sounds bad, but there's a reason for it. My wife, a 37-year-old female, and I have been married for well over a decade. We have three kids together, 6, 9, and 11, all in school. The issue of housework has become a hot button topic between us. Of course, I have tried to help around the house in the past, but her constant critique of how I did the housework has made it unsustainable. Here's just a short list. Dishes are still wet when they're put away. Dishes are still dirty after cleaning and being put up. Sometimes I accidentally miss a spot or there's a small dried bit of food on it and I just can't get it off. <laughs> Didn't hang up the dishcloth or counter towels. She thinks the wet ones are gross. 
mix clothes, bedding, and towels in one load of laundry. She says they can't be washed the same way, and it's hard to sort like that. I didn't get out of the washer in time. She claims she can smell them and just rewashes them anyways. Didn't change the mop pad after cleaning the bathroom before cleaning the kitchen, even though I'm using bleach. Put leftovers away wrong. Yes, really. Apparently using aluminum foil instead of finish fishing out Tupperware is the wrong way. I finally got sick of getting an earful for not being perfect all of the time and said that I wanted to help out, but not if I was going to be criticized for not doing everything just the way that she wanted. She actually told me to just stop helping if I wasn't going to do a good job according to her. And honestly, if she's just going to redo everything, it's a massive waste of my time to try and help out for the, in the first place. So for the last few years, I just let her do all of the things to her standards. Both of us work, I'm a tradesperson, and I have long physical days. She, on the other hand, is a substitute teacher at a high school. Now, I know that teenagers can be a handful, but it's hardly taxing. <gasps> Anyways, we've had a huge fight because the dishes in the sink hadn't been washed and were piling up. She said that she cooked, cleaned, and worked, and took care of the kids, the laundry, and then asked me, what exactly do you even contribute? I'm hurt that she feels like I don't contribute and I feel like she's the jerk for being critical instead of appreciative of my help and then acting put upon because she decided to do it all for herself. Most of my friends agree with me, but my younger brother says that I'm the jerk for not taking on more housework. Edit. For some context, I was raised in a household with traditional roles and values. When she met me, she was on the same page. Her views have unfortunately changed, but in our family, Housework is mostly going to be her thing. I wouldn't mind helping here and there if she didn't expect perfection. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Did, did your opinion change after reading all of that? <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure if you open up the dictionary to weaponize incompetence, you'd find Opie's picture. <laughs> you might. Well, and I like how he's like, we have traditional family values, but then his wife is working. It's like, you can't say that because traditionally the wife just stays home and yeah. that's why she's doing so much housework. Yeah. She, for some reason, doesn't want to work and do all the housework. Mm -hmm. Everything about this dude has more paid time off, but he can't be bothered to use any of that on the kids because he can't do that. That's his wife's domain. Yeah. Dude leaves stuff in the washer to get moldy and is like, oh, my wife had a fit that it was getting mildew. And yeah, washed it. You know, that's just it. It's like everything he's saying here isn't even like unreasonable. He's clearly not doing these chores. If he were to have these kinds of jobs at his work, he would get fired mm -hmm. for not doing a good job. And that's really what this boils down to is that he's not treating this like it's serious work, mm -hmm. right? You can't do a bad job at your job and expect to get paid at the end of the day right right and he, he's acting like it's so hard to get food off of dishes and stuff like that somehow his wife manages it though right exactly and she somehow manages to do all the other things well, too he's like a physical laborer but he can't get <laughs> food off of dishes if you're letting your plates dry out with food on it and not just doing them immediately then that might be like one problem and another thing is that potentially if you two aren't I want to make your lives easier start seeing about doing things to like get a dishwasher for instance a dishwasher might help to alleviate some of the dish issues right but i think what you were back to what you were saying about the traditional roles right mm -hmm. if she's working then this is no longer like traditional roles mm -hmm. relationship she stopped a few years ago right mm -hmm. we decided that I, that she would just go ahead and do all of the chores, and it's continued since uh, ad, ad nauseum. And she clearly isn't happy about it because she's complaining about it and leaving chores for him to do. And I think it's very one-sided the way I get it, mm -hmm. right? He's claiming that she just wants him to do this, but it was probably more like exasperation, right? Yeah, well, from the sounds of it, it sounds like when she went back to work, she was mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, can you pick up some of the chores? And then he weaponized and competence himself out of him. And also like the kids. Mm -hmm. Like, I love how he's like, oh, well, but the, the kids, she just knows all this stuff better. <laughs> you can't 
put reminders on your phone? Yeah. Like, do you have do you have thumbs? Do you have? He has no thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> so I I think that this is just a really uh, uh she got a raw end of the deal mm -hmm. here, and I I just don't appreciate all of his his attitude here. I yeah. just think it's a really bad attitude. Well, and back to the vacation thing too, how he doesn't want to do literally anything. It's like, why did you have kids if making them lunches or picking up and dropping them off are such huge inconveniences? Well, and again, back to the whole, we decided that mm -hmm. she would just do everything. Seems more like he decided mm -hmm. that she would do everything. Because if it was a mutual decision where you both had decided this then she wouldn't for the entire span of the relationship be trying to get you to do things mm -hmm. right well i also like how he's like well if i went away on vacation usually you go on vacation with, with your, your family yeah. so <laughs> like this argument doesn't even hold you still no. have to watch your kids unless you leave them with a babysitter well unless you're like the poster from a few days ago where he went uh, to the soccer match oh with yeah his... yeah I, I let me know what you folks think I think that this guy is just the, like Amber said, the poster child for mm. weaponized incompetence. <laughs> and yeah, take care and good luck. And well, the wife, you good know. Good luck to the wife. Yeah. Maybe maybe try uh, getting some alimony off of him. Yeah. Like, alimony, you like, at least then. You'll lose the dead weight. Yeah. You know? I mean, you're already a single mom, so might as well lose the dead weight. Yeah. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your weapons of choice. <laughs> I've got some tea right here. Amber's got a joke. Who said, let's make the king a big scrambled egg? Oh, I know this one. It's Bernard the Unhinged. Saint Bernard the Unhinged. <laughs> and the king got, was dethroned. <laughs> and uh, 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 also, Bernard the Unhinged ate it all. <laughs> All the king's men who couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. <laughs> Bernard the Unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> and I have Earl Grey. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for the Sunday morning special. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a great weekend and a whole great time with the uh, spending time with family and everything like that for uh, Thanksgiving. So I hope everything's going great for you folks. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.